For the past few weeks, we've been working on replacing our mast and standing rigging. Last week, the new mast arrived, and we prepared everything. And then our baby girl turned one year old. After many days of working on the mast, mounting winches, rope clutches, antennas, lanterns and instruments, it was now ready to be transferred down to the harbour. Yeah, it's always a bit nerve-wracking, lifting heavy stuff like this. So what's the plan, Håkan? The plan is now to put it with this side down and uh, so it's uh, because now it flex in that direction but yeah. it's much stronger like this and then we are taking it out and take it down to the harbor to the boat we got some extra help from hawk and son which was well needed So now we have the second corner coming up. See, oh, 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 this is tight. Oh no, it's just a plastic pole, so. Oi, 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 oi. Really tight. I'm glad it's not me driving. <laughs> Hokan is super good at this. I would <laughs> screw it up immediately. <laughs> And as you can see, there are houses on both sides, so yeah, and parked cars. And, uh, then we have a tree on that side. Hey, Bob. Yep. Yeah, now I think the worst is over, but that one was very tight. How does it feel, Håkan? Feel good to be in place. <laughs> yes. I was a little nervous <laughs> in some places. <laughs> I told myself the whole way down, I'm super glad that it wasn't me driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's very long and very narrow, narrow street here in this village. Yeah. The final things to do before the morning was to mount the spreaders and all the stays and shrouds. Everything is ready for tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> this is so exciting. Tomorrow, the big lift, the crane will be here at 8 o'clock. And uh, yeah, we'll step the mast. It'll be so cool to see it on the boat. Very cold morning. It's actually below zero and we have frost on the deck. It's a bit slippery here now. The crane will be here in uh, yeah, 40 minutes, something like that. The big day is here, it's time to put the new mast on and it's a perfect day, there is no wind right now, it's just perfect after all these windy stormy days that we've had. Up, 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 up. 
Lei não lá. It's always a bit nervous having a tall mast hanging in the air, but the crane operator was super professional. Hocken had called a couple of friends to help us out, and having some extra hands made the stepping both faster and safer. Once the mast was standing on its base and the keel, we connected the shrouds and the stays. The last thing to do was to mount the furlicks for the stay sail. <laughs> Finally, the new mast is in place. Looks fantastic. And the stepping went really well off the mast. All the measurements on the rig or on the mast and the rigging was correct to the centimeter. So what's left now is that we need to adjust the tensioning on the, on the mast, on the rigging. And to be able to do that, I need to install the hydraulics again. I got it back from service the other day. Um, so we'll start, I will bleed the vang and also the backstay tensioner. So we can put some pressure on that so we can adjust the, the top shrouds and, and everything. Uh, and hopefully that hydraulic pump that I serviced the other day, it will work the way I want it to work. Uh, so yeah, this will be some work to get the air out of the system. And also I found out that there was the wrong type of oil in the system. So we need to flush that out first before we bleed the whole, um, yeah, the whole system. So with the hydraulics, I need to drain the old oil from the reservoir. And the reservoir sits just in here. And the problem is that it sits below the pump. So I think I'll remove it from the wall and put it up higher when I start to pump. Then it will go faster for the pump to uh, build up suction from the reservoir to fill up the whole system or pump out the old oil. Uh, and to flush the whole thing. And I think I'll keep the reservoir a bit higher than the pump, also when I'm doing the bleeding. Uh, and then when everything is done, I can uh, put back the reservoir in the correct place. It's not very fast. Ah. Yeah, this whole process is kind of slow. But the good news is that the pump is working. And it's not leaking anymore. First snow today. <laughs> Those guys are out sailing. 
now the reservoir is empty so now I just have to um, yeah, fill the reservoir up again with the correct oil flush through the system and then I need to bleed it and then I guess have to top up the reservoir once again so this is the old oil and uh, this is not how hydraulic oil is supposed to look it should be clear like this oil at least the hydraulic oil you use um, on board a boat is it lunch time? yes Yes, yeah, so now there's fresh oil in the reservoir, so I'm going to flush the system with that new correct oil. <clears throat> so I will start with the backstay, and then I have to switch the pump over and flush the hose up to the bang. So we're slowly getting there. This is the original oil. Now it looks like this. And the goal is that it will be totally clear. Then we're done with the flush. The system is now flushed. You can see here the last bottle. We have a clear color on it. And uh, now I will just do the same for the bang. Uh, but luckily it's the same reservoir so it will just be the old oil that sits in the hose, so it should be a lot less work. So now I will uh, attach the hose to the backstay tensioner and see if I can get some uh, pressure on it. So both the Vang and this one has new seals inside. And uh, for the Vang there is also new gas. In this one I think it's just uh, normal air that's under pressure in here, but on the Vang I think it's uh, argon gas, I think it's called in English. I'll just take a measurement first, see if I have some movement. Yeah, it's working as it should. There's a uh, pressure build up on the needle on the meter and this is moving like it should so everything is now down with the backstay so on with the vang and then now with the backstay tensioner in place we can adjust the mass the shrouds so we can have the right pressure uh, on the wires one more thing to check is of course the pump on the inside here to really see now when we have pressure on the system that the leak hasn't come back or anything. So I'll do that now. <sighs> yeah, it looks okay. No oil. So for now it looks like it's uh, it has worked. We're changing the seals on the pistons there. After a lot of pumping, all the old oil was finally flushed from the system, and I could now top up the reservoir and mount everything back together again. Morning. It 
it's cold it's around uh, three to five uh, Celsius so I would say it's a perfect December morning to be out on the sea it is hey Stumpalis hey <laughs> the trip today will be by motor, same as when we went up here, because we haven't got the sails yet, but they are arriving in the end of the week uh, to here, but we need to go back to Malmö because this weekend uh, our arch, the solar arch is coming. So it's gonna be ready this weekend with the push pit and everything, so they're coming to uh, install it. So that's why we need to head back now. And also tomorrow the wind is gonna pick up, so we had a good weather window today with calm weather. It's a lot of current today. We have uh, 2.5 knots of current against us right now which is quite a lot to be around here because we don't have any tides. So it's just that probably there's been a lot of rain down south of the mainland Europe and all those rivers are emptying out into the Baltic. Then you get a lot of current running north here in the Sound between Denmark and Sweden. But 2.5 knots is a lot. I've never seen that much current here. Well, here you can see the current quite a lot. 2.5 knots. have the proper navigation lights on the boat at the moment. They're disconnected in the, in the stern and we don't have a tricolor in the, in the top of the mast. It's not connected yet. So I thought, I mean we will be in the marina before darkness but uh, just in case if we aren't we could use this instead. It's not the correct lights because we're running the engine but it's better than nothing. watch doesn't work now with all the noise. <laughs> We're entering the outer harbor now in Malmö. Just as uh, it's getting dark. It gets dark so quick now. It's uh, four o'clock. Back home again, but we can't wait to get everything done so we can try out the new mast. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. Join our Patreon crew if you want to support our videos and get some exclusive content. See you next week! <laughs>